I was uh, listening to a podcast uh, by the people director of Mark and Spencer. In, I had uh, got some ideas. I thought I should share uh, with my professional HR uh, colleagues so that they could learn and they could implement those ideas. Maybe they can build something around those ideas and implement in their own companies, in their own organizations, wherever you are working, wherever the organization is. Uh, the best thing that I learned uh, is to create a very engaging uh, culture in the organization uh, where people, they are engaged, the management people, they go into the stores, they work with the uh, workforce side by side, so as to create an environment where everybody is participating in the business, contributing towards the business and making the organization grow. There are 47,000 people who are working in Mark and & Spencer and it's a huge organization. Managing them, listening to their ideas, their thoughts, creating a work culture which is cohesive, which is productive, which is taking care of their personal needs, their career needs. I think this is very important. The first important thing that I learned is that there is a practice of a monthly engagement survey uh, where the CEO is leading the survey and uh, uh, the CEO is ensuring that uh, he listens to the ideas of the people and uh, he takes those ideas into consideration when formulating the company policies and practices and addressing the concerns of the people. Uh, the second thing is job sharing. People from the management, from the offices, they go into the stores, they work with the people side by side and it is how they are making sure that everybody is uh, well into the uh, fundamental business of the Mark and uh, Spencer. Then their uh, uh, flexi work arrangement is there. People, they are going to create their own uh, uh, timelines, work schedule, uh, considering that they have to ensure that their responsibility is being served, being shouldered as effectively as uh, possible. Similarly, uh, the paternity leave, maternity leave, adoption leave, such kind of uh, practices are uh, being developed, implemented in the organization so that the overall family life of the people is being uh, taken care of. At the same time, it is uh, made sure that the line managers, uh, they are being given the responsibility, they are trained and they are taught how to manage their teams, how to make uh, clarity of goals, how to ensure that they are able to support the teams guide them, mentor them, so that they could be able to achieve their business uh, goals and their milestones. Line managers, they have the responsibility that they should uh, create the winning team. And to create a winning team, they should know how to really take care of the people, how to empower them, how to enable them and delegate the responsibility in a way that the people, they feel supported. They are being given the feeling that their work is contributing towards the bigger cause, the bigger goal of the organization. What I learned in my career and from different professionals and the managers and the CEOs that if you want your business, your organization to succeed, you have to work with the people. You have to engage them in a way that they feel being valued, respected, and their ideas are uh, listened to because listening is something which is supposed to be enhanced, increased. If the managers, the management, they don't listen to the ideas of the people, to the thoughts of the people, and uh, don't address their concerns, they will not be able to create a very good team of people. So small things in the organization on daily basis, it, those have to be addressed. The culture of appreciation, the culture of recognition, going to the people's decks, management by walking, talking to them, discussing with them, mentoring the people. At the same time, ensuring that there is a reverse mentoring so that uh, the young people, they could also mentor and guide and coach uh, the senior uh, professionals and the managers in the organization. It is how a very inclusive culture uh, can be created because the future is belonging to a multi-generational workforce where five or six generations, they will be working uh, together. Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z, Gen Alpha will be coming and uh, joining the workspaces in the next few years time. So at this point in time, the millennials and the Gen Z, they are working to 
together. Gen X is also there uh, in the workspaces. So it is to be ensured that the people, they are working together, they are thinking together, planning and discussing and debating, and finally formulating a strategy which is going to contribute towards the growth and development of the organization. So this is a continuous process. This has to happen every day. This has to happen regularly. Uh, the performance management, the performance uh, uh, appraisal, at the same time, uh, looking at the uh, positive side of the people, looking at the side of the people where their families are being taken care of, ensuring that there is a health insurance, life insurance, uh, the pension or provident fund is there. Such things have to be taken care of by the HR and uh, by the senior managers. It is how uh, they are able to create a very effective and uh, a very productive team, which believes strongly in creating results. but. For that to happen, there should be an inclusive and engaging culture in the organization, which is the responsibility of the HR and the senior management. So some of the ideas I wanted to share, I, some of the ideas I got from the podcast and some of the ideas then I uh, built my discussion around those ideas and uh, some ideas are uh, additional so that uh, I could be able to pass on a message to the HR professionals, to the HR directors to the people dealing with the uh, with the employees with the culture so that they are able to create a good productive culture in the organization it is how the organization will grow because people grow the organization will grow so this twofold approach has to be addressed effectively by the management i hope it will serve the purpose and benefit uh, the uh, hr professionals and the senior managers please uh, let me know about your feedback thank you very much have a good day